It's so amazing that we're all off work today. I mean, that never happens. It's been ages since we've all been off work. Uh, it's just good luck, I guess. I mean, it's nice to be around you guys, but I just hope that... that... Guys... doesn't bother us today. I think we're forgetting something. bathroom all day and cowers when I come near him and he won't live in my perfectly good garden. Ah! Oh, what you say? Oh, that you only meant well, well, of course you did, mm, what you say? Oh, but I wonder if he's right. I mean, I have a bad feeling about this. But, on the other hand, who would honestly organise anything at the end of May? I mean, all it does at the end of May is rain. And what is the point of putting all that effort into doing something if you're just going to be stuck inside for the duration of it? Mm. Could you guys please keep it down? This game's really hard to master, especially this level. Look, if you want to know what's going on, I'll do what my mum does in situations like this. Hey, Siri, is anything happening today? Searching for 56 degree watermelons inside a large volcano whilst being watched by Garfield in the Barrett with an abject look of horror on his face. Um, I'm just gonna delete my internet history. Good call. Guys, I think it's something furry. What, furry like your hairy knuckle-dragging family? Get out of my house and stop stinking up the place, you poo! And you're missing your freaky fairy convention in that rip up of a gaming TV show. Shit, 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 shit. Get out! Nobody wants you here. Go away, you trill loving piece of shit. Fuck off. Nobody wants you. Die in Infinity War. Come back to life in Avengers Fall. Buy 500 capsules of Imodium. Uh, Game Sister! It's Games Master! Yeah, you're late for it by about 20 years. What are you, 40? It's Games Master! Shit! Hilo, Hilo, it's your only friend. Go no. on, no. go on, go get him, go get him, go get him! Do it, do it, do it. Go, go, go! Right. Fine, I'll walk. This is a one-way ticket. Straight down! And welcome to Games Master, the stage event of Confuzzle devoted solely to video games. We will be taking the original format from the 90s television show and adding challenges that involve some fuzzy favorites. So, if the sentence, I hope Bubsy takes control of my woolies, means, makes sense to you, then you are in the correct place. And having recklessly stolen the format of the 90s TV show, format, place, whatever, for our namesake, 
Let's speak to everyone's favorite uncle, the Games Master, for our first challenge. Greetings. I'd like to say how delighted I am to see you all here. So, you'd like to try your hand at one of my challenges, would you? Well, don't think it'll be simple. Only the most skilled contestants can hope to beat the odds and lay claim to victory. Our player must take the role of Sonic the Hedgehog's darker adversary in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. The challenge is a race to finish High Radical Highway in under three minutes with no retries. Shadow is his name and speed is his game. If you hope to blitz your way through the level before time runs out, my advice is to plan your route carefully, choosing the fastest route to succeed, and avoiding many of the enemies along the way. Also, watch out not to plummet over the edge of the stage. Losing a life would bring your attempt to an early end. Good luck. And attempting to outrun Radical Highway's time limit today, our first contestant, Sneeze. Here's a microphone. Don't do anything rude with it. Did it work? I don't know. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> definitely working. Hello and Hello. Oh, hello and welcome to Games Master. How are you right now? Confident, maybe? Confident, maybe. We'll run with that. Tell me, in preparation for this, have you done any planning? I mean, do you know what route you're going to be taking? No. No. <laughs> OK. The challenge, obviously, is to get to the end of the highway in three minutes without succumbing to any kind of, well, death. Do you think you can pull that off? No. No. Well, it's nice to know that we have confidence from there. Do you believe that he can pull it off? Yeah. You said no, I like you. Right then. What I'm, gonna... I'm engaged to that. Oh. Well, there you go then. Maybe you should, maybe you should cancel it. Anyway, <laughs> what we're going to do now is I'm going to nick that from you. We're going to head over here, grab a controller from our lovely tech assistant, and I'm going to talk about him. Please don't. Hello. There we go, that one's working. Joining me in the dugout today to commentate and observe on what's going on, Ira Kondria. Hello there. Hey, bud. Hello. Now, before we begin, do you have any advice for our contestant in relation to this game? Well, with the current economy being unsure, I would invest in industries, industries, uh, industries that are less likely affected by Brexit. Also, don't forget, Cash Ice's shares, they're brilliant at this current point in time. Sound advice there for people in the real world, but we're actually asking about the video game. Oh, in that case, well, then I'll use the buttons on the controllers provided to move the characters on screen as specified by the Games Master. <laughs> well, to be fair, you can't go wrong with sound advice like that. Anyway, the challenge then is three minutes to beat Radical Highway without succumbing in any way, shape or form. So at this point, the timer begins and the stage goes. We do need the screen to change to that. And then we can carry on with the challenge. And the best of luck to you. You're going to need it. He looks confident from there. He looks like a dragon. It begins when you start. You've got your three minutes. Yep, this is how we do it. And he's off. Straight down the bridge. You lose four minutes in that already. Oh. Oh, oh, controller. We told you it was a D-pad. We've had a few technical problems, but you can do it. It's a slow start, but you're going to pick up. Obviously, explosions are a bad thing. Do you like explosions? Oh, who doesn't? Everybody likes explosions. But you've got to remember, you've got to go slow. Going slow. <laughs> now, if you ever get to the bottom of the path, are you going to go left or right? I think he's going to go left. Where do you think he's going to go? I think he's going to go both ways. Oh, he's gone left. I win this one. Hey, speed! Obviously, a well-prepared and sorted out thing here. Uh, we've missed a speed boost here, but we still appear to be on time. Uh, we're making good time here. I think he'll make it. What do you think? Uh, I'm not sure. He seems a bit drunk to me, to be honest. Probably had a good night last night. To be fair, I do remember walking by him and he was sort of on the floor face down. But, you know, we've got a quarter to and we've got the first enemy. Now, how is Shadow? He's gone round it. Very clever. Very clever. This is fine. This is fine. He believes it's fine. It's fine, isn't it, everybody? They have faith in you. Keep going. You can pull this off. I have faith in you. No, I don't. I never have faith in you, you're fine. To be fair, we, we did give you a heads up that the controls were a little bit wonky today. A little bit, yeah. It's... <laughs> he got to spin and he has spun through without killing himself, which is a good thing. I'm sure everybody else watching who's competing is just dreading how bad this is all going to be in the long run. 
We'd like to go down for the record, this is the controller in our setup rather than the player, allegedly. Oh, Sonic game can't be saw. Fair comment. Well, I just want to buy some soda now. But we're still getting to the end of it. I mean, even if you don't make the timer, I'd like to see you keep going all the way to the end. You're doing well. well to be fair, he's making good time. Yeah, it is a difficult challenge, even when everything isn't against you. And he is doing well. He seems to be getting the hang of the controls now. Watch out for the explosions. They're bad for you. Oh. 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 He's not fallen to his fate yet, so we're not completely done. But he's got to get under air again. Well, that's that, isn't it? Right. Take two. You Less can do than it. a minute left. What do you think? I still think he's probably going to do it. I mean, he's got... 38 seconds left, and that's a lot of time for any challenge but this one. That's what she said. Keep on going, we're doing well here. Sort of. Oh, there's enemies here. Are you going to deal with them? No, you just got to avoid them. Oh, oh, he's been cornered by a robot. Oh, oh, oh dear. You're not giving up, are you? You can do it, can't he? You can do Come it! On, almost there. Faith in you! Do you have faith in him? I always have faith. We all have faith in you to get up here. Oh, oh, oh! Hey! Oh. oh! 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 There was an attempt. There was an attempt. You can shut up now. <laughs> Let me give you this back, and we will digest exactly what happened there. So Obviously, it was nothing to do with our setup and all about the way you played the game, right? Sure. Sure. <laughs> so, obviously, I've got a script to go to, so I might as well roughly follow it. What do you think went wrong with the challenge besides the fact that you failed? Sonic with the D pad is a bit gross. Yeah, we do like to make the challenges difficult. And being the first challenge, it had to be extra difficult for yourself, not that we planned it to be that difficult. Now, if you could potentially come up and have another go, and not have an awful setup that didn't really work. What might you do differently? Choose City Escape. You know what? I couldn't fault you on that one. Thank you very much for taking part, even though I kind of want to give you one. I can't because you haven't beaten the challenge, but I have the feeling we're going to have a lot left over at the end of the day. Yay. Give it up, everybody, for me. <laughs> right. Moving very swiftly on to the second challenge, hopefully the controls will work better for this game in question because there's no analog stick required. We will now turn to the Games Master to tell us what the challenge shall be. Games Master? This next challenge will pit two contestants against one another to see who has the prowess, control, and patience to overcome a heated match against one of Cuphead's most notoriously difficult bosses, Grim Matchstick. Our players will have two and a half minutes each to demonstrate their skill and attempt to defeat him in fiery frolic. The players must be on the lookout for the various tails before each of his attacks and hope for the best with the placement of the clouds as to not fall to their doom. And because I'm feeling generous today, you will each have unlimited chances to retry during your run within those two and a half minutes. Good luck. And taking control of the Plucky Cockery Brothers today are Sayer and Damien Tanuki. You each get one of these. Don't do anything rude with it. I hate you. I know you do. We work in the same department. <laughs> Told me not to, so I did. Yes, of course. That's just the way everything works. Well, hello and welcome to Games Master. Welcome to Games Master regardless. Tell me, have you two beaten Cuphead before? Yep. No. no. Yes and no. We are taking bets on this at the back. The odds are fairly stacked, but we'll run with it anyway. He's going to win. Yeah. Or so, I could throw it. That too. What makes you think that... We'll start with you. What do you think, do you think you're going to win? What makes you think you can beat Sayer in this challenge? There's no evidence to suggest that whatsoever. I don't have a chance. <laughs> well, we already established that already, but we're trying to set a nice competitive attitude so it's not incredibly one-sided, so just have another go. You'll uh, be I'm fine. Gonna, I'm, I'm going to cheat. 
I'm going to sit behind him and make noises to try and distract him. We've got the YouTube video already ready for you. Just press the button, it's important. I don't need a YouTube video to distract people. I'm quite good at that. Yeah, fair enough. What about yourself, Sarah? What do you think you have over Damien? That means you can win this challenge and be the victorious victory person. He owns the game. I, well, I own the game, and I've also beaten the level, and you haven't. Also, I love the dragon to bits. So I kind of don't want to hurt him, but I must do. Weirdo. Oh dear, you don't want to hurt him. I have a crush on him, he's cute. He does a little wiggle at the beginning, it's great. Yeah, right, fair enough. Regardless, though, to be fair, this boss has quite a lot of RNG in it, so there's a slight possibility that you could get screwed over, whereas Damien doesn't. This is true. This is true. I can't stand this boss, personally. I had to spend really? 45 minutes beating it the first time round. and about oh, I loved him. 23 times. It was just, oh, so painful. <laughs> right. We've got that. So the question is, who would like to go first? Because obviously this is one versus. Fine, I'll go first, because okay. it makes him feel better. It makes him feel better. Right out. In that case, I'm going to steal this off you before you do anything with it. Give it to him, and you can, you can stand there and look pretty. If you'd like to join us over here, take a hold of the controller. Our lovely tech assistant is ready. Uh, no, you have to stand, I'm afraid. We like to stand. It counts as a form of exercise, don't you know? <laughs> Joining me once again in the dugout to commentate and talk about how brilliantly slash awful slash what on earth is going on making sure that we don't damage our fragile egos in the process, is Ira Kundria. So, the same question we had before. Any advice for these plucky, well, contestants, that's the word I'm looking for, before we begin, before they begin, you know what I mean. Well, I think they shouldn't die. That's a great plan. Also, I recommend not falling asleep whilst driving either. Okay. As far as I remember, there are no cars in this game, so can we have some relevant advice? Well, just don't die, really. Yeah, actually, that is a very good piece of advice. So that is your advice this game. Do not die. If we'd like to change the screen over, we are ready to go. Obviously, it will begin when you press A. Uh, we have set the weapons for you, but they're fairly acceptable. Oh, they're going to be fucking awful, aren't they? No, of course not! I swear to God, if it's charge shot and bloody lob, I'm going to... Charge shot isn't allowed in this one. It's overpowered. That's like, that's the only one we're not allowed. We do require game screen. Screen. I'm still on the screen. I shouldn't be here. Look, it's creeping. It's sitting on my shoulder. There we go. Right. Well, you have a handicap, and you're better at the game. So if you want to do expert, he can do regular. Oh dear. Well, you might have to get used to the controls as well, because I said it's all a little bit messed up. Do you think he can do it? Do you think he's going to beat the boss? No. No. Okay. So we, we've got no faith from Ira, but we don't listen to anything he does. And here's the first phase. Crowd's going this way. There's a delay, you say? Well, there shouldn't be, but there is. You're just going to have to kind of adapt. Oh, he's down to two hit points already. You can restart as many times as you want going through, obviously. And if you don't beat the boss, it's whoever gets the furthest. He stopped it. Why is that on? What's wrong? No audio. I told you to behave. Oh. So, we did start a bit late due to technical problems. As you can hear, they are carrying on. This being that we don't seem to have any audio for the game. Um, if you'd like to sing the theme tune for us, because we don't have audio, over this atrocious noise that I've had to listen to for an hour, you're more than welcome to. We did. It was working earlier. It stopped working now. Um, I think we should probably just carry on without the sound regardless to get it going because we don't want to overrun. So if you want to load the game back up, we'll let you restart and we'll carry on two and a half minutes just without sound. And you guys can sing the theme tune for us. Everybody knows this theme tune, right? <laughs> sing the theme tune! <sighs> can we have the game up? Can we have the... It's the extra up? difficulty. You can't there see what go. you're doing. Do you want to hit retry then, Saya? And we'll restart your time. And you're off two and a half minutes starting now. No sound this time. I can't hear that theme tune from our wonderful audience. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they have a sense of humour. <laughs> well, we've had a good start here. Saya is um, struggling a little bit. We're going to put that down to the boss being absolutely horrible and not the technical problems we've had all the way through the show, obviously. Sorry, the second charge. You died. Oh. Right, first phase. Hit retry, keep going. First phase. If nobody beats the boss, it's whoever... Even better. If you don't beat the boss, it's whoever gets the furthest on the flags. We've got to remember where those flags are as well. I know, awful. 
This boss is tolerable with the RNG. I hate this boss with an absolute passion, although he is kind of cute. <laughs> it's a fairly good start. The other move you should have is Chaser. Chaser being useful in the... No, it's not. <laughs> it's not for the second phase. He saw you coming. Yeah. I never used the boomerang. I always thought it was an awful weapon. Oh, he's got a double fireball there, and he's gone through. Oh, he's missed a cloud. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yes, we did tell you the buttons were reversed at the start of the show. Uh, and we have moved on to the second phase, so we're doing quite well here. We have a minute and 12 seconds left on the timer. Remember, if you do not beat the boss, it's as far as you get during the process. This phase is awful because of that. Oh. So we are currently to the third flag. The third flag is the furthest we've got here. This is a difficult mix. We have 56 seconds left, so that's one real full run try. Restarting if you take a hit might not be a bad idea, but we'll carry on regardless. Third flag at the moment is the furthest gotten. I bet you're feeling more confident now, aren't you? Oh, he's waving his hand like that. But it's okay, we can carry on regardless. Tell, oh dear, he'd take a double hit there, but still got the one HP. Very difficult. One hit. Oh, very nice. Yes, yes, and he's using super move here. We have 27 seconds left, 27 seconds left on the timer. Yes, I can hear the gas, and again, and we're on to the second phase again, trying to move as far into the second phase as possible, as if it's the last attempt. This will be the last one. That's it, shout some, come on, give us some encouragement, the audience. You can do it, watch out, there he goes, jumping high. Oh! oh. Halfway, Halfway through the third flag, with a whole second on the clock. <laughs> On the, on the controller. Dash isn't set up on the controller. You didn't tell me that. I didn't know that. You should know these sort of things. Here's a microphone. <laughs> well, it makes it more interesting because now Mr. Tanuki actually has a chance, so it's not a one-sided thing yeah. that we were a bit worried about. I totally threw it, by the way. That was in, I was on purpose. Obviously, that was on purpose. I could tell, by the way, he yeah, was standing that. there and getting frustrated. Hold, please. Thank you. Thank you. Damien, it's your turn to come up and suffer. I mean, okay. have a go at the game. Same thing, two and a half minutes of lovely competing with... Yeah, and they're not going to let me on main stage again after this, are they? No. No, they're really not. <laughs> right, game loaded when you're ready. Well, again, we don't have audio, but we'll have to run without it. We do? <gasps> audio this time. We have some. Can we have screen to game, please? Right, hit retry when you go in. You've got two and a half minutes starting now. Now we've got some audio. It's already a better start for Damien. Now he's got to get to three and a half slabs. Haven't taken a hit. Now Damien admitted to me before we started the show that he doesn't own the game. He's only played it. So that's a real handicap towards Saya here, but uh, all he has to do is get halfway through the second phase. Even acquiring the third stage within the time limit will give him the victory here. Oh. However, he has died in the first stage. That's fine. Hit retry and keep going. You've got more time. You can go as many times as you want. Here comes that dragon again. Nobody likes this dragon in the game context. Stuck with the fireballs, and somehow I don't think scores relevant. Taking the hit. Science, we've got fireball coming. Don't get pushed off the edge, that would be a terrible thing. Take another hit in the first stage. We still have a one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. So we've used a minute of game time so far. But he's so cute. Please stop. Oh, you take an Ira Grundy to stop today. This is very cute. I like him. Don't hurt him, please. We have a tail coming up. We're not going to avoid that. Oh, we still managed to get hit by it. Even three things. The tail is always dangerous. As it's they will take that to the Ooh. Ooh. Cock it up, 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 cock it up. Cock it up, cock it up. You can do it, yeah, we're in the second phase now, so this could be the attempt. You've got third round. Yeah. Oh! Okay. That's even right. pegging. Have another go. Keep going. You're even pegging. Oh, you're both going to win it this way. It's going to be a draw. Yeah. That seconds. would be really bad. You can do it. You have 27 seconds. Probably isn't enough, but keep going anyway. 
Yes. There is generally there is generally delay though, isn't there? There is a slight delay. There's a slight delay, isn't there? There is, see? I think we're gonna have to call out. You've got seven seconds if you want to have another go. How far can you get in seven seconds? Two, one. There we go. Dip, 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 both of you. Come on. How do you think that went in general, considering you don't technically own the game? Bad? Did really <laughs> Bad. Well. Yeah, no, 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 we, we, we did really we, well. There was a bit of input like I'm going to blame that. Yeah, yeah you are welcome to. They call them race drivers' excuses, but we, we, we'll, we'll let you do that. It was still fun. Well, that's the most important thing. Now, I looked at the positions that you both got, and I couldn't actually tell a difference between the two of you. So I it genuinely... Was, even, it was pretty even. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this a draw, which means you've both won. Yes! <laughs> which means you two both are going to get one of our glorious, they're over here on a trolley for some reason, in a little bag because we're well prepared, along with, you, you don't get that. I want a f no, I want one of the four gangs. I want one of the four gangs. I want a new controller, please. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, indeed. Ooh. You both win one of our patented, copied golden oh, wow. joysticks to take home with you. Be careful. The, if the paint peels off, don't eat it. If I couldn't find the non-lead-based stuff. A round of applause to these two for what they've managed to pull off here. Well done. <laughs> Lovely. Right, and there is also, just because, originally, the winner was actually going to get this, the golden cup. Because one of my, fr my partner's friends just left it at my house, so I was pretty the golf. So, who wants it? Because somebody has to take it. I think it. he should have it. You know, I think you should take <laughs> it as well. So you the get the golden cup as well. Another round of applause. Well done to you two. You may go and sit down and never look at me again in the same way. Yeah, well, nobody's ever going to forgive me for this anyway. I mean, let's be fair, you're not. Anyway, we're going to move on to the very best part of the show now. The bit that I don't have to memorise and doesn't include me in any way, shape or form. We're moving on to the adverts. Hey kids, do you want something radical? No. Do you want something fun? Fun hurts me. No, fuck off. Too bad, here's the Sega Power Boot. The Sega Power Boot only takes 14 C cell batteries. It's as easy as plug it into the wall, calibrate the sensor to remove excess noise, rewire the PCB to register your foot length so the console knows what inputs to give. Put it on. Interfere with the causal nexus of time. And play the game. Whoa, radical! Compatible with G Lock, Pong, and Football Manager. Combined with the Sega Power Strip for electrifying fun. May cause dwarfism, and diarrhea, legislation, and being chased by the person your ancestors. You must take a break over 15 minutes or the product will automatically sedate you in order to ensure that regular breaks are taken. Out now on the Sega 32X! It's the future! For now! When I started making games, I wanted to make something that would touch the hearts of children and help grown-ups feel like kids again themselves. Sadly, when I spoke to my father about this, he told me I could have been a surgeon or a doctor and made some level of difference. Then I thought, why me? I can make the kids the doctors and surgeons. So to show him up, I'm overjoyed to introduce Nintendo LIFO. Nintendo LIFO is a new way to play and learn about the human body. With simple cardboard pieces, you can create medical grade health equipment and actually use it. Coming in three sets of impossible to store, soon to be thrown out cardboard bullshit. I'm going to use the prosthetic leg kit to help my uncle after he lost his leg. Do not use the prosthetic leg kit in the rain.
The at-home casting solution is perfect to cast yourself in high-density concrete, brilliant for sealing cuts and grazes before swimming with friends. And finally, the LIFO support machine, running on just one AAA battery, lasting up to 40 minutes of fun. It has all you need to stop the Grim Reaper from taking Gran again. You can also hook it up to Dark Souls on the Switch and die in real life when you do in the game. But don't worry, a friend can use the defibrillator in the boat and try and bring you back to life again. And when you're done playing Doctor, just turn it off. Granny won't mind. We even have cardboard coffins for you to make. Nintendo Lifo, a super temporary toy no one asked for, for entertainment purposes only. We do like our sponsors on this show, and if you want to buy those products, they're actually in my house, and I will deliver them to you if you pay charity money to them. I will go home and get them for you. Anyway, moving on quickly. Unfortunately, it's not just good games that we're going to be running this evening, or this afternoon. It's the afternoon, isn't it? We're actually going to be playing some other games now. So let's head over to our Games Master for more information on the upcoming atrocity. Games Master? Our third challenge today will take place in the first chapter of Bubsy in Claw's Encounters of the Third Kind. Our competitor will have to grit their teeth and perambulate their way through the stage in an attempt to collect 150 yarn balls before 90 seconds of time has elapsed. But beware, for some unknown reason, falling damage occurs when Bubsy drops more than a foot in height, so using Bubsy's glide to slow your fall is key to grabbing as many of the yarn balls as quickly as possible. No retries here. So, try not to lose a life, would you? It would be terribly bothersome if it will fail long before the timer ends. Good luck. And joining us to torture themselves playing this fantastic game, Stormus, up you come! <laughs> Can we give you that? Can we shall wander over here? Oh, you got it? Yes, I have it. You have it, excellent. I have it. I just have to ask you, is Bubsy your favourite game in the entire world? No, that goes to Turrican 2 on the Amiga. Okay, I'm... I'm gonna... I'm gonna take that as a yes. Have you ever seen any other games other than Bubsy? Many other games. Many other games, but they're all really Bubsy in disguise, right? Eh, uh, depends on how you look at it. Fair enough. Do you have much knitting experience? No, but I can get myself into really tight places. Hmm... I know, I'm... furries ruin everything. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> furries haven't really ruined the show, technical stuff has, but you've just added the furry element, so... Right, 22 years in the fandom and you get that sort of stuff. Fair enough. How do you manage to sleep at night, though, knowing that you play Bubsy? Meh. Yeah. I, I pull the cover over myself and I fall asleep on a pillow. I suppose that's how most normal people do it, so there's no furry <laughs> ruining there. Right, well, I'm going to steal this microphone from you before you go insane because you have to play Bubsy, and hand you over to our lovely tech assistant who will give you a controller. Apparently there's some input lag, but the controls apparently on this one do actually work properly. Got to make sure you can see the monitor, that's where it's going to be gone. And once again, we'll be turning over to Ira Kundria on this one to ask for advice in relation to this challenge. What advice do you have for this wonderful gamer who's never played any game but Bubsy? Don't play it. <laughs> okay, let's assume he's on a stage in front of people on CFZ TV and he has to play it. What advice would you give him? Still don't play it. Right. <laughs> do you want to just sit down now and not bother? Play we... it. You're going to play it? He's going to play it, everybody! In that case, then, you have a minute and a half to collect 150 uh, balls of yarn. That's what it is. We're going to run off the time here because we've got a few seconds already off that clock. So we're listening for the beep, 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 as you will. Once it comes up, just unpause it. As soon as you unpause it, the timer begins. And I will be joining, as I said, Ira down here to give weird commentary that you probably don't want to hear. So, screen over to game, please. Lovely. When you unpause, it begins. I used to join this game as a kid. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's a very standard sort of 90s platformer, uh, mascot platformer, but um, the main problem I had with Bobby is it attempted to merge too many different versions of games. We had both the sort of Sonic side scrolling very, very quickly combined with platforming, which doesn't work because it's a one hit game. Although he's off to a fairly decent start with 27 seconds gone and 50 already, he's actually on track here. If we keep it up to 50 every 30 seconds, he will make this challenge. This uh, C 
is one of our more difficult challenges in general just because of the game itself. Falling damage exists in Bubsy. Oh! oh! The manhole has gotten him, unfortunately. So you do play this? He, d he, d he just admitted he played it. <laughs> You've been playing Bubsy and no other game for all your life and you still can't beat the challenge. I like the way you think. Let's get a microphone to you. Let's get a microphone to you. Oh. Well, besides the manhole, what do you think went wrong with that? Pretty much the manhole. Pretty much the manhole. Tell me, if you hadn't been hit by that manhole, what else might have killed you? Pretty much everything in that game can kill you. Yeah, that is a very true point, to be fair. Well, it's a real shame you lost. I mean, I'm sure you wanted the 100% honour of being good enough at Bubsy to win at a Games Master Challenge. But how, I don't know how you're going to live down not being that good at Bubsy, the only game that you have ever played. But I suppose that's just the way that things are going to go. There's not much we can do now except give you a massive round of applause and say, I'm sorry, I can't give you a trophy. Well done. It was an easy one. It was really input lag. A little bit. A little bit. Oh, really? How weird. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, everything's been messed up. I really should have learned this beforehand. Right, we won't waste any time because uh, we've got to finish fairly quickly, so we're going to rush through now at this point. The next challenge is we're going to see what the Games Master has to say about it. So, Games Master on, please. This time, our challenge will be another competition of skill between two players on Pokemon Stadium it's 2 for the Nintendo 64. This, this will be a timed event match with it's only a measly it. five minutes to prove that you are, in fact, the very best like no one ever was. Each player must choose six Pokemon to do battle with. And, from there, you only have to do as much damage as possible to the opposing force within the given time. All Pokémon will be level 50 to give both our competitors okay, a fighting chance. Do remember that there will only be Pokémon available from the first 250, so choose your team wisely, as you will not have access to some of the more recent Pokémon. And, be warned, we have a strict time limit of 10 seconds with which to choose your move each turn. So do hurry up, will you? Good luck. Yeah. Our two contestants playing this game will be Game Popper and Grim, I think it was. Yes, come on up here. I'm so sorry, I'm having a bad day. Here, I'm going to let you take these and say something really horrible about me as we walk up onto the stage. You got my name wrong. Hmm? You got my name wrong. Well, you know, I'm going to do that just to annoy you because you didn't respond to me on Twitter. <laughs> so. <laughs> What's your name again? Bob. Something like that. Anyway, this challenge, we can see your teams up here. You have selected your own Pokemon. Mm -hmm. So we've got to make sure you get the right controller as well. The Games Master did say we were running level 50, but unfortunately due to technical problems, we're running level 100, but that shouldn't make too much difference. Now, the emphasis of this challenge is damage done in five minutes with 10 second timers. So even if you don't end up knocking the opponent team out, when the timer is up, We'll be looking to see who is left standing and what kind of HP, and then we'll make a judgment call on that. Now, Mr. Popper, Mr. Popper, do you have any tactics or plans or theories? Seeing your opponent's team here, do you have confidence, tactics, theories? What are you going to do to win this battle and prove that you are the very best that ever was? Uh, just damage them as much as possible. Just hurt them hard. That does sound like a fairly normal Pokemon tactic. That's how I played all the game. And what about you, person? <laughs> That's it. Oh, Grim. I thought it was Grim. Grim! What are your tactics, Grim? Um, panic. Press buttons. If that doesn't work, maybe hit him. So basically, <laughs> everything I've been doing in the lead up to this show. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, in that case, then, we're going to hand you your controllers. I'm going to steal these from you. Controllers are going to be handed to you. If you have the wrong team, just quickly stop controllers and pretend that we didn't have more problems that we haven't foreseen. And with any luck, we'll carry on and keep on going. So, lovely tech lady, if you would assist our fantastic contestants. I go back to Ira Country, give him one of these. I don't know why, and ask, what kind of advice do you have for these two in relation to this challenge? is cruel and inhumane, so if you do suspect anyone of animal cruelty, call RSPCA on 0300 1234 999. 
Well, that's very relevant advice, but we're talking about imaginary animals that only live inside screens and computer games and therefore don't fall into the category of the RSPCA. So do you have any advice for them then? Well, in that case, the teams are fairly balanced, so it should be quite a close one. However, I believe that statuses will be the key to this game. That is possibly the first intelligent thing that you've said all day. And we're still waiting for one for you. So, you know, if you just want to be really bad to welfare, he works for welfare. Right then, in that case, you have five minutes. The game has a timer, but I'll be running one here for good measure as well. Ten seconds per move. Most damage done. Hit battle when you're ready to go. And off we go for a challenge between two people and Pokemon. In the Prime Cup. Lovely Pokemon trainers here. They're going to be the very best, the very best that ever were. Now they have to pick the three Pokemon. Can you tell I haven't played this game for an awfully long time? The question is, which three Pokemon are you going to take into this challenge? It's uh, going to be a difficult decision, seeing as we have a very fair balanced mix here. We have one set of team with possibly slightly less used Pokemon and one with more used Pokemon, but that doesn't matter depending on how the trainer does in general. I don't think I'm going to have to say anything here. It's already got a commentator. You can have a break from me. So we've got a Lapras out first with a Kingdra. And this is an interesting start. It's already a good start. The question is, is anybody going to swap out or are they just going to start beating the ever-living daylights out of their Pokemon in this state? They only have the 10-odd seconds to pick moves. And that's done. So the first move set. He's a bit lagging. We're starting with a Dragon Breath. Well, that's going to sting. What the opening gem? It's driven by paralysis. Not too much damage there. We got down 318. What did the other side do? That did little damage. Those two moves are about the same sort of level of damage that we've already started fairly roughly evenly yes. here. With 4 minutes and 28 seconds on the timer, they've only got 4 seconds to pick their move. And the guys will pick one for them. Oh, we can see on the move here. And time is up. Commands are made. And we've got another Dragon Breath. We're going for a repeated tactic of beating the other one. Take out of them with your breath. Normally quite effective with Furry. Oh, when did Lapras learn that move? That's going to sting. No, it's not. There's still plenty of time. Well, I suppose that's a fair point. I suppose the second classification would be electricity is bad. Again, my partner is so much better. He actually knows what Pokemon are. Nobody's thinking about swapping out Pokemon at the moment. Again, it doesn't matter necessarily how many you knock out. Oh, but if you can win, you can win. Oh, I would say at the moment in time, it's looking like Lapras is going to come out on top here simply because it's more tanky in regards to HP. Oh, we've had a curse. It's slower with this map. The lap is this going second in attacks at the moment. But the defensive attack up. This could be a vital move. Are we going to have another Dragon's Breath? Only time will tell. We've only got three and a half minutes on the timer now. We've had a minute and a half of combat. A minute and a half. Hey! This is... It's another Dragon's Breath. I don't really know what to say at this point. Ah! It can't move! Oh, yes. They're both That's a bad up. thing. Perhaps my assessment was wrong in this one. We've got a second before time's up. We're going to have to make a decision. Dragon's Breath seems to be the way what we're going on this one. It seems to be effective oh, enough. Hit. Another two turns, this should get rid of the Pokemon. And we're doing another Thunderbolt. One with two! It's one. fairly close here. The first Pokemon in the game is getting pretty close to this one. We're about halfway through our time at the moment with a singular Pokemon. Not even knocked out at this point. Hey, well that wasn't predictable! What's this? 
Mind you, if the move is effective, oh, it's... Oh! 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 And there we go! A Pokemon has gone down! That took quite a long time. Now, I believe you get 10 odd seconds to pick your next Pokemon coming out. So, if you know what Pokemon you're already connected to, you don't have to give away, or you can totally give away what Pokemon you've got out. That works as well. Three seconds, one Pokemon down, two minutes and five seconds left. Okay. And Rem is winning by a whole four HP, I'd say. Oh, cool. it's the Relegate! Ooh, the Relegate is out. Favorite of the I can tell you that one. There's a big HP difference Just hold between out. the two combatants. Hey, hey, there are Pokemon battling here. Have you called the RSPCA yet? And prepare for battle. Well, I thought you said you called the RSPCA during, you know, battle with horrible things and stuff. But down goes Lapras, but they're both a Pokemon down! Oh dear, oh dear, we're both Pokemon down with about a minute and a half left somewhere within that region. It's going to come down to yeah, a minute and a half, picking up a Pokemon roll around now and doing as much damage as possible before the timer runs out. So must be bore in mind that Lapras has more HP than Kingdra did. If you came to a high situation, that would count very strong towards it. I am word good today. Sparks are flying! Oh, hit less HP. And, uh, we're going to have to see what happens here. One minute, nine seconds remaining on the counter. Hit on these fast I'm hit. Ooh, that's a decent hit there. A good 110 HP hit right there. The hit and a very right ineffective off. hit from Fralligator here. We could be having trouble. If this continues the way it's going, I think we might actually have some more clear winner in this one. But I could be wrong. Straight into the high kick again. There's the attack! Hit it! How many critical hits? It looks like Relegator is going to fall flat on his face, but there's a Hyper Beam incoming. There it is! Hyper Beam! Oh! Oh! Hyper Beam has absolutely decimated Hitmonlee, turning the table! The last... Last Pokemon coming up. What's it gonna be? With a whole 25 seconds on the clock. That's about two turns left. Squeeze off. You got about two turns left to do as much damage as you can. It's that. That's true, but that won't affect because Pokemon will come out, so the move should be able to see straight away. I could be wrong, but I think I only play Pokemon Stadium 1. We're on to the last eight seconds. This could be the last move. Oh, Hyper Beam has taken a toll there. What do we do? Will this be enough? The first critical hit, but it hasn't done that much damage. And there is the end of the battle. You had the lapis, right? Yeah, I did. Let's have a look at this screen. Oh, let's have a look. You had more HP than both of them. I believe, and you can correct me on this, Lapras had more HP than Kingdra did at the start of the game. Hmon Lee had about 220 versus 290 for Alligator. I believe our winner of this game, according to HP lost by a judgment of myself, would be Grem. <laughs> by judgment of more damage done. Are you going to shake hands or are you just going to be kind of sore and horrible? Yeah, shake hands. Oh dear. Uh, there we go, this is what I need. I really should have learnt this before I did this, shouldn't I? Shouldn't have. Anyway, commiserations for being the loser in this case. I'm not going to see the typical L on the forehead. Honest, I'm not. <laughs> what do you think let you down in this one? Uh, him on leap, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, it went from looking incredibly promising to, oh, you got one shot right near the end of the battle. A very clever tactical move right at the end to use a move like that so we wouldn't yeah, really have time to respond. Yeah, that hyperbeam annihilated me. <laughs> yeah, it was a particularly good move. I mean, did you at least have fun, though, playing the game? Oh, yeah. I played Pokemon, so this has been a fun game. Hey, it's my desktop again. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good thing, and commiserations and congratulations to you. A round of applause for Game Popper on this one. But now we move on to the winner. Can you just... There we go, on to the winner. Oh, I, oh, it's over here, isn't it? I'm really prepared. I wasn't expecting to have to hand many of these out. But... 
Here we go. Well done. You and your amazing Pokemon move and a team and a very tactical move right at the end have won yourself an already repaired once golden trophy painted in by ourselves and handed over to you as the winner of the Pokemon Challenge. A round of applause for Grim. Right then. Moving swiftly on, I'm going to tell you to get off the stage politely. Get off the stage. And we're now going to move on to the consultation zone with our wonderful games master answering questions posed to him via the medium of Twitter. Games master, take us away. Welcome to my kingdom. Our first question comes from Just Rocky Things, who has this to ask. Good day, games master. As a furry who's enamored with fighting games but didn't get a chance to hone his skills when younger, what would you feel is the best way to stop yourself from button mashing? So, you want to master the art of a fighting game. The best way would be to see if your fighting game of choice has a practice mode. And from there, pick your favorite character and learn their combos. It's not cheating to look up a combo list to help you. And knowing the moveset of your chosen character is the best way to stop yourself from button mashing, when you have a wide range of moves at your disposal. Moving on, our next question comes from a young lady called Katie Price, who has this to say. Why hello? One is indeed most curious and would be intrigued to know the answer to my predicament, especially following much endless pontificating. That question being, the fuck is wrong with the random deaths in King's Quest? Your response would be most appreciated in this time of uncertainty. Well, since you asked so nicely, I will enlighten you. You see, IBM requested Sierra make a game that was both replayable and sophisticated, which to us is translated as cheap deaths. So, as any Dark Souls player would tell you, get good. To Sylvie Wolf next, who has this question for me. What, more work? Yes, more work. Now off with you, you filthy peon. Go burn some witches or something. Yes, me lord. Up next, we have Reg Day, who asks, what is the highest number of rings or hoops I can collect altogether in Sonic 1, Green Hill Zone, Act 1? Assuming you mean the original game and none of the many modern iterations, there are 225 rings total in that level. Some of these are unobtainable to most players because they are placed in hard to reach areas. There is a large floating pile of rings partway through the level. However, using some clever tricks it is possible to get back up to the pipe again to grab them. For our final question we have this one submitted by Noodle Husky. It says, I have a sexual attraction to Kefka from Final Fantasy VI. How do I break my newfound clown fetish to my partner? What am I, an agony aunt? The only answer I can give you is to not tell them and run away to the circus. That's it for questions today. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to start recording for my next show, Kinkmaster. Goodbye. And you can find the Game Master's new show, Kinkmaster, coming soon to a confuzzled near you. No, not really. Now. We're going to move on to the next challenge straight away, and we're going to ask the Games Master, who will appear on that screen, and that screen, to tell us exactly what's going to be going on. Games Master, if you will. Are you ready to get your groove on? Because our next challenge will take place on Parappa the Rapper for the PlayStation 4. Our competitor must successfully complete the second stage, Instructor Mussolini's rap, and acquire 150 points in the process as you attempt to help young Parappa pass his driving test. Keeping up with the beat is the biggest challenge this level provides as inputs come thick and fast. Freestyling in between the beats is the best way to improve your score. However, if you happen to let your rating drop to bad or awful and finish the lap, you will fail the stage and with that lose the challenge. Good luck. Now, everybody I've given one of these to and told them not to do anything rude with has done something rude with it, so I'm trusting you to behave, which is a bad idea because I know you. Yeah, that's a really bad idea. That's a really bad idea. <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible. It's a terrible idea, but then to be fair, this awful. entire game show was an awful idea. Let's be totally honest with it. Eh. Anyway, do you have a driving license yet? No. <laughs> no. Okay. When you do eventually learn to drive, is your instructor going to be a moose? Well, anything's possible. 
I like the way you think. I mean, hey, if there's any moose fur suitors, this guy needs to learn to drive. We could, you know, you could do that. Have you got a good rhythm, though? No. No. <laughs> now, I know I spoke to you before the car and asked you to practice the game. Have you done that? No. No? Well, that's an interesting one. But, hey ho, at least you won't have any input lag or control problems because we're actually using this rather than an emulator, which is a good thing. Now, no. <laughs> No, well, all you can do is try your best, really, in the long run, isn't it? That's all we ask, and to make all the technical difficulties go away and make the show run on time, make it all much funnier than it has been, and all of that, that would be really good. Sorry, I left with those superpowers in my other suit, so... Ah, you have disappointed me. I'm sorry. Anyway, are you ready to have this song stuck in your head for the rest of the con and possibly the rest of your life? It is one of the most catchiest things that you will ever hear. Well, I was kind of hoping it was going to be the, the Master Onion Chop chop one. Why would we do that one? That's it's boring. Awesome. <laughs> right. Well, as ever, I'm going to take this off you. Thank you for behaving. That makes a change. I'm going to send you to our lovely tech assistant who will give you the right controller. The game will obviously begin when you hit yes, but we're just going to make sure it gets on the main screen first, which it probably is. I can't see from here. And I will be joined once again by Ira Country down here commentating or just sitting there quietly letting me talk. Before we begin, is there any lovely advice that you can give this fantastic gamer about the challenge he's about to pursue upon? Well, you do realise it's difficult to get a word in edgeways with you, for starters. <laughs> exactly. But remember, this was originally a PlayStation 1 game, so the controls can be a little bit clunky, and you just got to keep a good eye out on the buttons as they go over the head throughout the guide. Other than that, you should be fine. So, in effect, just follow the rhythm and press the buttons at the right time, and don't run off the stage screaming because it went wrong. That's right for the first bit. Second bit, you can. You know what? I think I might be doing that at the end of the show. Fair enough! Mr. Daxon, you may proceed when you are ready. And I'm going to sit down here. All right, we're here, just sitting in the car. I want you to show me if you can get far. Here we go. Step Starting on the good. gas. Step on the gas. Now, it's quite a difficult challenge, this one. Step to get on the brakes. Score. Now Especially on this particular level, although this is not Step the highest level in the game for certain. But all we can do in the long run is hope that Mr. Daxon can pull it off. Step, step on the brakes. Step on the brakes. Step on the brakes. Step on the brakes. We're still at good. And the score of 15. And that song's already stuck in my head. I believe it just ran a red light. To be fair, we're bus drivers. We run red lights all the time, right? All right. Oh dear, and here we go. We've got a bit of a control here. We're moving into the awful area with a score of six. The target is 150. Oh dear, I think we might be losing it here. Taking a left-hand turn at far too high a speed. I can tell you, a special driver. And the car stopped, but we've gone back up to between good and bad, which is good. Dax is getting the hang of it again. Do you know why they stopped the car? Yes. yes. Why did they stop the car? You Sounds about right, doesn't it? Close yeah. the door. Close the door. And we're up to a score of 50. So that's another 100 Mr. Daxon needs to acquire to beat the challenge. And we're carrying on with lesson four. If I recall, there's five lessons in this. It's quite a tall challenge at this point, but he hasn't failed yet, which is good. He's certainly not passing his test. He does need, well... Again, he'd be about as qualified as we are, let's be fair. We do leave the doors open. Where's we fight? Don't for that, I would. Oh, we're down to awful. We stop the car again. You gotta do it again. Oh, dear. I think that face right there says everything that needs to be said. Oh, uh, God. Oh, yeah, I suppose I should probably give you one of these, shouldn't I? <laughs> Ta-da! Thank you. Oh, dear. You didn't quite manage it in the end. How do you know, feeling that Parappa, because of your actions here, will never, ever get to date a sunflower? What? <laughs> he's trying to date a sunflower, and because he's failed his driving test, how, 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 why? Why would you do that to him? Why? I got no good answer for that. <laughs> Yeah, you're not really supposed to have a good idea for that one. Whoopsie! So, besides failing the challenge, which, to be fair, it's not a particularly easy challenge, that one, what do you think went wrong? And if we could give you another go, what might you do differently? Play a different game. <laughs> Play a different game. 
Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, thank you for taking part, Daxon. You were a good sport, but unfortunately you haven't won the golden joystick. But we will give you a round of applause. Aww. Round of applause, everybody, for Daxon! Thank you. I'll see you later. Oh, you will all be pleased to hear that we are coming to the end of our show, filled with laughs, cries, technical problems, and challenges that went wrong because of fixing technical problems. But the last challenge is going to be the best one, the greatest one, and hopefully it will work because we didn't actually test this one. So uh, I've been given the thumbs up by tech person, that's amazing. So we will hand over to the Games Master for one last time to find out exactly what will be going on. Games Master, if you will. For our final challenge this evening, we will require the assistance of two brave victims from our audience. These two volunteers will be competing to be the next Games Master champion. The task is simple. You will be battling it out on brutal paws of fury to be the first to win two rounds. The victor of these matches will be crowned as my new champion. Good luck. I feverishly await to see who will claim the title. Preferably, it should be someone who possesses the same finesse for gaming as myself. But I admit I am more flexible enough to allow for the more delicate nature of the modern gamer. Anyway, I digress. Let the challenge begin. Well then, who's going to be brave and come up here and have a go then? Stick your hand up, I can't see you. We've got a couple of hands up. Uh, we've got a couple of hands. Right, right. Yep, we'll have you because you're standing up and waving manically. Anyone else got a couple of hands here? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a tiger by the toe. You, up you come. Up you come, we have our two challengers. Sorry for everybody else. You can slap me later on. Up you come, up you come, up you come. Let's have this and let's have this. Take this off you for the last time. And once again, please try and behave with these. They are for speaking into, not for smacking me around the head. Well, I'll try okay. my best. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little I'll, further away from here. A little bit further away. Right. What's your name? Kiroon. Kiroon. Have you ever played a fighting game before? Maybe no. Maybe no. Well, that's a good sign. <laughs> and what's your name, my fine friend? My name's Reaver. Reaver. Yes. And have you played a fighting game before? I've played a fighting game. I've not played this fighting game. So neither <laughs> of you have played Brutal Paws Fists of Fury before? No, but I'm excited to try it. Well, that's what we like to hear because this is possibly the worst fighting game I've ever played. <laughs> and I've played Shaq Fu. Oh! So, what? yeah, yeah, this is how bad this game is. But hey, they're all furry, so it's totally fine. So, if you do like anthropomorphic characters, this is going to completely ruin it for you. So. I hate them. <laughs> Yeah. At the end of the convention, <laughs> you leave and never come back, and you change from being a furry to, I don't know, a conservative or something. That's totally fine and understandable. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to nick these two off you. Okay. Yes. Our lovely tech assistant is going to give you the controllers. You're going to get the opportunity to stick your name in, basically, just put an initial or something in, get characters set up, choose a map, and get going. It's best round of three. And for this last challenge, I am once again going to, for some reason, hand a controller over to him and say, considering your advice has been very mixed from actually genuinely quite good to why on earth did I bring you onto the stage, for our two contestants, one of which has never really played a fighting game, one who has played one, but not this one, what advice would you give them, especially looking at the characters available to them? Oh. Don't die. Right. Okay, so what happens if they die in one round and there's two rounds left? Well, I suppose you could go down the lines of regeneration, but... Generation. So basically, the first round is going to be granddad at 90 year old, then we're going to have 70 year olds, then we're going to have 50 year olds, and we're going to have babies fighting each other because we're going down the generation tree. Sounds good to me. That sounds very strange. Oh, look at that. Are, are we having problems? <laughs> Was it me? Woo, well, this is unfortunately the, uh, the setup. The only thing that hasn't really gone wrong is Parappa because it was on the PlayStation 4 and not my PC. I must apologize for the technical delays we've been having as well as the delay to the start. It's, it's one of those things. The first time is saying anything on main stage. It's a bit terrifying. Let's get these microphones back and talk to you two. Give me that. Dear, just hold this quickly. Okay. How long have you two been playing video games? Oh, I've been playing video games for a really long time. So about, um, about uh, 15, 20 years? 15, 20 years of experience, yes. but you've only but, ever played one fighting game. Oh, I've played more than one fighting game. Oh. I've played, like, I've played Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. Nothing new, though. Nothing like Blaze Blue or anything like that. 
this game is not anything like those games because it's awful. Yeah, no, it doesn't, it doesn't look fantastic. It shouldn't look fantastic. And I think the worst thing you need to know is it was released on the Jaguar as oh, well. Oh, wow, right. Now, obviously, we're not playing the Jaguar version. We're playing the Super Nintendo version. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. If we can get it going, which is absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. If not, you're just going to have to slap me and we'll cope him from that point. There was a console called the Jaguar. Yes. <laughs> right, oh, history sure. lesson. I'll let you do this one. Oh, you I'm may sure do the history age. lesson. I'm sure my age. Um, it was made by Atari, and it was the first 64-bit 6, yeah, console. Ooh, but it wasn't really a 64-bit console. That was a bit of a, a thing. I guess I'm a bit too young for that. Yeah, yeah. Now I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Oh, we might be, we might be on Getting here. Somewhere. Do you still got your controller? Right, we oh, have got more technical problems. Yay! <laughs> this <laughs> challenge is going to change a little bit. Okay. At this point now, the two players will be playing not against each other, but against the AI, because okay. the second controller isn't working. Because, right. again, oh, my PC here. is no good. So you will take it in turns to play against an AI character, okay. and whoever wins by either the most rounds or loses by the least rounds will be crowned the winner of this particular improvised everything's gone wrong at the last second <laughs> challenge. <laughs> okay. So we're going to start with Thingamajig, whose name I forgot. Kieran. Okay, we're gonna start with you. So uh, you get, is it selected just for AI at the moment? Yes, okay, so in this case, starting. There we go. You get to fight against a cheater. This is going to be good, isn't it? I'm walking around here. Uh. You're a current white belt. Can you get further than being a white belt? And you get to do scene one. Does that mean we've gone into the story mode? I never actually looked at the story I'm, mode I'm of the game. Sure. I brought this game as a kid and it was so bad I never actually played it further. Okay. And so far, it would appear that the cheetah is beating the ever-living daylight out of our Afro Tiger. Well, that seems this... unfair. Well, of course it seems unfair. What do you expect? Look, he's stunned now. Yeah. This is not a brilliant start, let's be fair. It's, it's not the greatest. Oh, oh no, wow. 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 He's, he's wow. got it now. He's got it. He's got it. He's getting it. He's got it. He's going to fall down, and he's lost the very first round of the game to a cheetah who okay. looks a bit irritated. Right, now, well, you don't want to watch I, instant I replay. I don't think you want an instant replay of that. That, that would be a, be a very bad idea. Now we're on to the second round. Okay, this guy's yeah. better than you are. <laughs> You're fine, go away. <laughs> oh, well, that's not my fault, you haven't right, got Now, once again, we're kind of... I mean, he's, he does have him right in the corner there. It does seem a bit unfair. It's like Rise of the Robots, how you can trap him in the corner and do that, but that's what the AI is doing to oh, you. Oh, yeah. Oh, that game. The oh, only... that game. That game. That game's awful. It I have played is. that. I played that one as well. It's the only SNES cartridge I have that's still yellowed. <laughs> so we appear to have done two for two here, not losing more on the third. Is there a third round? No, I think that's no, unfortunate. No, I don't yet. think there is. I do believe that you've lost this one quite comprehensively. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit worried now. Well, to be fair, you get to take the head of the um, controller next okay, and fantastic. do exactly the same thing. And tell you what, you can take the microphone and commentate what's going on for him since he did the same yeah. for you. So, um, yeah, I believe we're just going to be restarting this. Three continues. Right, so you saw what I did. Do the opposite of that. Yes, don't fail. He's got to. To win this one, he's got to not lose more than a third, or do more of a third of the, H the opponent's HP, if he loses, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. right. Basically, I know what I'm looking for for the winner in this one. So we're beginning in round one, and the AI is already being an AI. Now, the way I won in multiplayer in this game... I think he's making fun of It might right be now. the D-pad, I don't know. Oh, he's actually got the first hit in here! The first hit has actually gone to a human player! And oh, oh look at that, he only has to win one round to win this challenge. And he's, already, he's actually off to a half-decent start here. The AI seems to be a bit less aggressive in this one. A bit less keen to trap him in the corner, but oh, there's the corner trapping. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And you're stunned once again. The AI is jumping over your head. That's stun wow. animation, you... though. What is he doing? It's just like this. <laughs> oh, this is actually a fairly close game. They're all about halfway down. I know I'm supposed to be competing against you, but actually I'm just rooting for you to beat this guy. To be this fair, Gina. He's already technically won because he did more damage in that one awesome. round than you did. But we will allow you to carry on and see if you can reclaim the glory. Hey, well, he's going down. He's already beaten you, you up this. here. You got this. 
The Games Master obviously didn't trust me to pick anybody competent, so... <laughs> the fighting is going on, as you can see. It would have been better if we could have had you two fighting, but... Technical problems! I took you fairly even. They appear to have swapped sides, and they're now just jumping in each other's face. Oh, and he's being cornered again. Is he going to lose this round? To be fair, I can't do this either. Oh, a super attack, I say. I don't know, but I don't think you're going to have time to do it. Oh, he's done it again. You can do it, you can do it. Come on, yeah, you come have on, to come on. No! You were the chosen one. A round one. of applause. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Where did the second... Well played, sir. Just pick that up for us. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, so close! You, you almost were avenged very me, close, and I, I actually know. feel kind of bad for you. For your, thank you for your, your encouragement. It, it really helped. Yes. Do you two know and each other? No. No, no that's what we want. We're wanted just furries, say. and we're very friendly. Friendly well, consider, furries. Consider that an ad for the dance contest tonight. Yes, yes. dance contest tonight. Definitely watch it. Now, Come on, thanks, Fox. Come on, you can win. Before we go any further, I will apologise that we couldn't actually do the challenge the way we wanted to. Again, we've been playing through, but I've learned an awful lot, and if they ever let me on the main stage again, we'll probably have as many issues as we did <laughs> last year. Now, I'm sorry you missed out. You know, you did try your best. Be a winner. So we do have a small prize for you to take home. Ooh. You have won yourself. This thing that was handed to me, because the booby prize is actually better than the joystick. It is a small teddy bear that apparently smells like strawberries. Yay! You may put it on your shelf and remind Oh, yourself. that's the good stuff. <laughs> put it on your shelf and remind yourself that for some reason, you came and watched this show and took part. Woo! A round of applause for Thing Me name, I forgot. Yes. This guy! <laughs> this guy. This guy! But now we're going to move on to the winner. Reba, there you go, I read his badge. Yes! You won! Yay! I mean, you lost! But you won! Yay! And that's close enough for us. <laughs> so as the winner, I am pleased to present to you the last golden joystick oh, of the evening. Thank spray you painted ever so much. with the worst, cheapest glue I could find, <laughs> and possibly something else with offcuts from a uh, Harlow Centre, because I didn't have any more money to spend on this event. I will just uh, I'll treasure it forever. Well, I've got something else that you're not going to treasure forever. All right, okay. But considering that you said you played fighting games, you're not very good at this one, we <laughs> thought an actual copy oh, would be yes! a relevant prize for yourself for taking part. <laughs> So you get, a, you get my copy of Brutal Pause, oh, Fist of Fury. I actually have a SNES, so this, I can actually yeah, play this. Here we go then. A round of applause for our last two contestants. I will nick that off you and you may go and sit yourselves down. Thank you very much for taking part. Oh. Do we have time to do that one? Have they said it's okay? One second, we might just have something a little extra. Just because I know you all want to leave and go do something productive. Have we got the go-ahead? Yeah? All good? They said yes? Right! Now, the first challenge unfortunately didn't go to plan because the controller was screwed up. But now that we've done all the challenges, we've reversed the controller to its original setup, meaning it's not running on awful setting. And so, because we genuinely feel bad that... Was it sneeze? Sneeze. sneeze. Sneeze has suffered because of our incompetence and didn't have a chance to win. We'd like to invite him back onto the stage to have another go at the first challenge. I bet you didn't see this coming, did you? No. no? If I call this up now, I look really bad. Well, to be fair, if we can give you a decent fair try, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> now, as you know, the timer starts from three minutes from the very start, but you don't start moving until four minutes in. So we're going to run off the game timer. Does that make sense? No, well, no, okay. I'll, I'll trust you. It, the start of it is an introduction. You can't do anything and you lose some seconds of gameplay. Or you can do what the tech person said, because the tech person is much smarter than I am. So when you are ready, we shall proceed, and you shall have another go at winning the final golden trophy, which has broken. <laughs> yes? <laughs> it will do, but hopefully the controller will work. It certainly looks like it's working better. Is it working better? He says he thinks it's working better, and already this run has started off much better than the very first intro working. Yep, look at this, is he going left or right? He's going left again. Left oh, he's again. hit a wall. Oh dear. He went left in the last run, last run though, so hopefully that will be the only repeat from the last run. <laughs> oh dear. 
It's slightly better. To be fair, we're only 30 seconds in, and you have got about as far as you got in a minute and a half last time. You can do this, though. I have total faith in you to defeat this challenge. Oh! My face when? <laughs> Again? Go on, go then, on. another go. <laughs> Somebody, but this is the last try because we've run over now. Hey, he's off again. This is the last try because we're going to get in trouble if we stay anymore. We're already like half an hour late. Let's try. You can do this. I have faith in you. I know go you right. Can. He's going right this time. He's going hey. the right way. He's going right. I'm giving this guy's trophy a guard for what happens. It's a much worse to start. He. Ooh, yeah. There's not much need to commentate here. It speaks for itself. The road is closed ahead. I don't know who designed this highway. You did. It should be sacked faster than me. Explosion's happening nearby, but he's getting there. Oh, can he do it? Yes, he's taking them out. Oh! Yeah, I, I think at this point, we're going to have to call it there and say, you did well. You had three chances, and, you know, all we can do is have a round of applause, having another go, and that time you can't blame it on the technicals. Play it on the physics engine. I like this guy. Round of applause for Sneeze and sit yourself down and we can wrap this up and go get drunk. Well then, that's it. We got through everything with a load of technical problems, a load of difficulties, but we got there in the end. So, you know, I've got to do the final thing. I'd like to thank our team, which is the tech person, our writer in the audience, Ira, all our contestants, all those lot. I'd like to thank all those people for helping make this happen, because it's not a one-man challenge, it's a very large thing. I'd like to thank the tech guys at the back who have been really amazing with us, because we didn't relay information very well. Uh, we'd just like to thank everybody involved in the project. Uh, we'd also like to thank the Games Master himself, who is in the audience somewhere, but I can't tell you who it is, because that's a secret. And we'd like to, in the end, thank you as well for coming to see the show. Because, yeah, I've been Ekrom, you've been yourself, and this has been Games Master. Roll the credits and let's get drunk. And speed is his game. If you hope. Oh, if you hope, if you hope. That went a bit Nottingham. <coughs> so, how long do you. Just hit the unicorn repeatedly. I want you to sort of put your hand over like. Want something fun? No, fuck off. <laughs> Sorry. Ten times funny, just start <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>